let me just pause here and say, if you've been hurt by the church, understand that that was not God. Yeah. God's people, his followers, the people that call themselves Christians and his followers are the worst representation <laughs> of a loving God. <laughs> so true. And it's sad. You know, so true. and honestly, if you don't understand that or you don't quite believe in it, go watch The Chosen. Mm. Because I resisted The Chosen pretty much. I resist anything that everybody's doing. I refuse to watch Game of Thrones until SNL stopped talking about it. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's great. I mean, it's terrific. <laughs> That's what I hear. Yeah. And I knew it was great, but I'm like, ah, I'm just not going to watch it. Everybody's right. talking about it, right? And then I watched it and I, I binge like the whole thing. Um, I did the same thing with The Chosen. I resisted it because everybody was talking about it, but then I got into it. And it is amazing because basically The Chosen, a great way to surmise it, in my opinion, is The Chosen is the Kardashians meets the disciples. Nice. They are a mess. <laughs> they're a mess. We we think of, oh, St. Peter at the pearly gates, and like they're all holy and saints and blah, blah. No, they were a disaster. Yeah. A disaster. Peter was probably worse. He's like the 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 drunk uncle, or like the, <laughs> the, the uh, unbelievable. And it was so healing to me to watch that show because I realized, wow, Jesus loved them and did amazing things yes. through their lives, and they were a disaster. <laughs> so there's hope for us. <laughs> hey, right.